Hello and welcome to Literary Clutter. Today I'm talking to Trudy Canavan, best-selling author of The Rogue and many other books. Welcome, Trudy. Thank you. Now, you've written um, three trilogies, but only one standalone novel. What, what, what is it about the trilogy that attracts you as a writer? I'm not entirely sure about this, and I've been asking myself the same question, because the next series I'm going to be writing after this one is also a trilogy. And I tried very hard to make it maybe a duology or a four book series, and it just didn't work. It seems that kind of three books fits the storyline really well. Maybe in the future I will end up writing a, a series that's more or less than three. But for now, I think I'm stuck with it. So. You keep returning to the world that you created for your first trilogy. Uh, you've done two trilogies and a standalone in that world. Do you see this? to be a world that you're going to continue to return to every now and then, or would, do you ever see yourself letting it go? At this point, I think I've written as much story as I have in me in this world. I know when I finished the Black Mission Trilogy, I, I said on my website, and I've said in interviews, that that was it, I didn't have any plans for more. But that was not entirely true. I did have an idea for the sequel, which is the second book of. Um, but I also realised that the... the it's a history from about 600 years earlier of Black Magician Trilogy would actually also make a very good book, but it wasn't enough for three. It was only, that was the standalone book, um, The Magician's Apprentice. So that was a bit of history that I added to the series. One of your strengths as a writer is world building. You, you create very detailed, realistic worlds. How do you go about creating such detail? Start. Oh, it's I call it an accumulation of a lifetime's worth of being interested in uh, civilizations from the past and from the present. And I, I worked for Lonely Planet Publications for a while as a travel book company, and that was actually a really, really good reference material for writing worlds because often characters are, are travelling within fantasy; they travel to a, a new country, and. The learning kind of good books would give you an idea of the perspective of the traveller, the sorts of things that they would find in a civilization where they're visiting that are actually really interesting to them, as opposed to if you were, with, were within the culture, there's some things you would take for granted. So that all these things have, have um, contributed towards lots of ideas towards world building. Have you ever found yourself fancying one of your characters? <laughs> I mean, writing um, a romantic lead, do, do you find that? Um, you need to fall in love with that character just, just a little bit in order to make it convincing? A little bit. I often find that I fall in love with a character that by the end of the time I've written those books, particularly if it's a long series, then I've sort of fallen out and love them because I've just written stories so many times and so many drafts and so much polishing and editing and things like that. And by then I'm a little bit over the love affair. Um, I was taken by it completely by surprise by the love affair that fans have with the main character, um, Akron, in the Black Mission Trilogy. I did not expect them to actually get quite as attached to him as they did. Um, the sex scenes in your book are, are fairly subtle. Have you ever been tempted by, by fan response to launch it up a little bit? Yes and no. Mainly when I write a book I'm conscious of the age group that I'm writing for. So if I with the Black Magician Trilogy, I was really just writing um, for anyone to read. I wasn't specifically thinking young adult um, or adult, so I was just thinking a very accessible book. And I wasn't sure I could write good sex scenes, so I didn't write a very detailed one in that one. And then the next series I wrote, I decided I was actually going to give this a try, and I had great fun, and I had a couple of sex scenes in the, the Agent 5 Trilogy, which is the one that's not related to this series. And in these latest books, I was conscious of the fact that the publisher would want to aim it at the same readership, so I didn't want to actually have very explicit scenes. But in the future, yes, I definitely would love to write some more sex scenes and some more cheap scenes. Um, sex scenes do tend to be uh, a feature of fan fiction. So uh, what, what's your take on uh, people writing fan fiction about your characters and your worlds? Um, initially, I, I completely understand when someone writes to me and said, I didn't like that you killed off that character, and for therapy, I have written <laughs> a new ending to that series. <laughs> you know, that's more cool. um, That sort of thing. And or else they're madly in love with the character, and they might write some erotic fiction. I, I don't mind that at all. Um, I think fan fiction is mostly harmless. It's when people actually publish it, um, or if they, in one instance, someone tried to rewrite my entire series. I'm not sure if they succeeded. But that's a little bit rude because it's like them saying that you didn't do it right, I can do it better. 
Um, so I like the exploration, but I don't like to see necessarily people rewriting the vast quantities of it because it is like saying I didn't do it properly. What about fans who want to give you their story ideas, mm -hmm. who, who want you to include them in, in your books? How do you deal with that? Um, I have a general policy, and it's quite clear on my website. Do not send me story ideas. Do not tell me your story ideas, um, either for your stories or for mine. Because on one hand, there's very obvious legal problems with this. If I then used that story idea, even if I'd already come up with it myself first, um, there are legal problems where that person might try to sue me. Um, the second thing is that it, it affects which decisions you make. If someone said to me, please make X and Y character get together and have a romance, I might be inclined to not do that because I'm then thinking that it's too obvious. You know, if lots of people say to me, get X and Y together, I'm going to think, no, I'm not doing that. But I don't want to be steered towards making those decisions by what fans ask me to do. I want to basically write it without that influence. Well, thank you very much for your time today, Trudy. Thank and you um, don't forget, The Rogue is her latest book and is available in stores now.